Sharing memories can help someone remember the time spent with a loved one. Now a publishing group in Sioux Falls is making sure those memories aren't forgotten. In tonight's Eye on Cowell Land, Sarah McDonald shows you how you can make sure your legacy will continue. Becky Weinzettel has many memories she wants to share with family and friends for generations to come. That's why she decided it was important for that legacy to be put into a book. I had been writing bits and pieces through the years as far as uh, a book. Um, my brother actually uh, was killed in a car accident in Sioux Falls here. Uh, that would be now 25 years ago. And so that sparked me to wanting to do something. And so because I had that story and then I had a, a part of my other story, which is I've been married over 30 years. I've had a couple babies in my 40s um, and had a couple older children as well. She's now the author of the book, She Will Rise, a book with everything she wants to be remembered. But she couldn't have had this done without the help of Throne Publishing Group. I came in and he interviewed me. I also had some of my own work that I had done and um, as far as writing uh, some of my story. And so he helped me then put all that together. We interviewed for two different segments of four hour segments. For the last several years, Throne Publishing Group has been helping people create legacy books. What we essentially do is we interview people about their life and then make a book for their family or for their business. Jeremy Brown is the CEO. He says it is important for people to share their stories. Why we're so passionate about family stories is because it changes families. It, it, it impacts the individual. It impacts the family because now they know their story. And what we don't have any idea is going to happen is two, three, four, five generations deep, these grandkids, great, great, great grandkids are going to know more who they are. The process is simple. We meet with the family and we ask them and we have questions for them about what's important. What do you want to talk about? What do you want to leave behind? It goes from understanding what the family wants, interviewing, writing, design, printing. But that's not the only thing Throne Publishing is doing. They're also training people to do this process, calling it a certified legacy guide. We started doing these for a handful of families and we realized the massive impact this had on people and on the family culture. So we started to say, okay, there is a demand for this. How can we meet this demand? That's why we started to certify other people. There's other people that have the passion too to want to ask questions um, and just get to know people in that way. In fact, they already have people signed up for trainings in the next couple months, including Levi Wyshettle. I figured that this was a great opportunity to be able to help share and tell and help others kind of uh, hone in on their own story um, and share that for the generations to come. Brown says overall they hope to get a lot of people interested in training and making sure people's stories continue to be told. We need this in our culture right now. We need to know our heritage. We need to know our stories. We need to know where we came from um, and it's because it helps us remember who we are. As for Weinzettel, she's happy she's able to share her legacy for many years to come. I am ecstatic. I'm very excited with it. Um, just how to see your life and your testimony in a book, um, something that I have probably seriously wanted to do for the last 10 years. And um, just to see that all come together has been just phenomenal. It's been unreal. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Sarah McDonald. Brown says several different people from different states are already signed up for trainings. If you're interested in learning more about getting a legacy book done yourself, we provide a link to the Facebook page under this story at kelloland.com. Sport.